Hi, I'm Harry Keaton. I'm from Germany and I'm doing brain magic. I'm fascinated by the brain. It's the most complex structure in the universe. I love to show that the mind can transform objects, even destroy them. Brain magic is a little like hypnosis. I try to make people see the world like I want them to see it. This piece is a very unique piece of brain magic. You cannot trust your senses. Penn and Teller have never seen something like this, and I think it will explode their minds. Here's German mastermind Harry Keaton. Magic is about deception. No, even better. It's about the ability of the magician to alter your perception. Can you trust your senses? Can you? Maybe. Can you trust me? Uh, no. <laughs> the following experiment requires a test subject. Alison, would you please be so kind? Okay, I guess so. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Now you, you and I have never met before this moment, correct? Correct. Good. So we have perfect scientific test conditions. Please stand over here, facing the audience. Now you cannot see inside this box from here, right? Right. But you can reach inside. Go ahead. Ooh. Hmm? Ooh. Okay. Don't worry, the box is empty. Yes. Okay. okay. Now I will put something inside. You look straight ahead, leave everything in here, just rely on your senses. What do you think? What could it be? It's a glass bottle. A glass of bottle? Have a look. You are absolutely right. It's a bottle. This proves that your senses are fully reliable. Okay. Now, I will close the box. You can take your hand out. Close the box, put a new mystery object inside and demonstrate how your perception can be influenced by advertising. Today, I will clean my windows. Clean. I love it when they are clean. Clean. Once they are clean, they shine so beautiful. Clean. Do you feel how the advertising influences you? Uh, sure. Great. Great. Reach inside. Tell us what you feel. Is it hard? Is it soft? What kind of material could it be? Seems like a sponge. A, a sponge? Yeah. A cleaning product? Yeah. Alison feels a sponge. Okay, leave everything in here, take your hand out. In reality, it's a stone. <laughs> Have a look. That's weird. It is weird, that's my job. <laughs> now, let's see. Next. Let's demonstrate how your perception can be altered by your own brain <laughs> to make you see things differently, okay? Reach inside and describe what you feel. What could it be, Alison? Well, it just feels like a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal? Yeah. Like a teddy bear or... Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah, what? a little teddy bear. A Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, interesting. With your right hand, you felt a stuffed animal. Uh, take your hand out. Let's change place. Please stand over here. Okay. Stand over here, right here. All right. Perfect. Now let's use your left hand, okay? Oh. Okay, careful. Okay. Relax, relax. Reach inside. What do you feel with your left hand? Oh, oh. A, like a hairbrush. L a hairbrush? A hairbrush. Now you felt with your right hand, you felt a stuffed animal. Yes. With your left hand, you felt a hairbrush. Yes. Okay, uh, and you're sure about this? <laughs> okay, uh, take your hand out, take your hand out. Which side is right? Nice, I would say, it's a cactus. <laughs> a big, old, prickly cactus. Stand over here, please. Stand over here. Now, finally, 
Finally, I will change your perception. I will change your perception using hypnosis. Please concentrate on the spiral. See nothing else. You're receiving a hypnotic transmission directly to your brain, directly to your neurons. Yes. Now do you feel how you were influenced? Uh, sure. Good. Reach inside. What do you feel? Ew. Oh? Uh, it's an ooh. What is that? Well, it's up to you. Grapes and grass? Grape and grass. Okay, uh, is this the result of hypnosis? Is it? Um, you can take your hand out. Take your hand out. Now, Alison, what would you say if there are no grapes at all? But there is a glass. And not just any glass, but one filled with wine. <laughs> Take the slider, pull it up all the way out, all the way out. And it is a French Bordeaux. Bruce, everyone. Harry Keaton, everybody. Thank you. I don't know, it just happened. Maybe something in your mind. That's you never... crazy. That was absolutely insane because everything that I felt, yes. I, I really, there was no doubt in my mind yes. that what I touched, I touched. Okay. Like we didn't it was breathe. a sponge. It was definitely a hairbrush on that side. True. So how did you do it? Well, uh, let me tell, or maybe <laughs> these guys will tell, uh, but uh, it's a secret. Man. It's a secret, yes. So yes, do you yes. like pissing people off? Well, it's not a lie, yeah. <laughs> You can put it this way, but uh, in a way, as a magician, we show a world of wonders. So oh. hopefully these guys are not pissed off, but they enjoyed it. <laughs> and you invented this? Uh, yes, there were three men involved, but it was due to my initiative that in its final form, it looks like this. And I was able to amaze you. So. Yes. Let's see if you invented a way to fool Penn and Teller. Yes, let's see. Penn Teller. Oh, man. Well, this is the, this is the inventor show. We're all, all having stuff on that's, uh, that's invented by the people performing it. And um, we, uh, 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 this is the greatest act I've ever seen. Well, I just well, love well, it. Well, well, uh, thank you. I mean, well, that is nice. tell her, uh, Tell her loved it, the audience loved it, but I, I was at a whole other level. From the moment you started talking, I just, I just dug everything. It was just, the whole performance is just beautiful. And the other thing is that um, magic is, uh, is uh, almost entirely visual and conceptual. You never get magic that's really tactile. It's the whole act, the, the backbone of it being tactile is, uh, is just mind blowing. It's a whole different way to see it. The prop looks clean and simple and there's just nothing to it. And um, a lot of people who invent, they, they, they stand on the shoulders of giants, but you're not, you're standing on your own. We, we didn't oh, see. We didn't lot, see, we right? really did invent something. So consequently, um, we got nothing to go on. We got no way to figure out anything because you invented the damn thing. So um, all the knowledge we have, all the things we build on, does not help us. And because you invented it from scratch, you fooled us from scratch. Yo, what's going on guys? Daniel Huggins here. Thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, I know this was supposed to be a tutorial and I planned for it to be, but a lot of people were kind of disappointed with my title. Of a recent video I uploaded with the Penn and Teller Foolers because it looked like I said the magician fooled Penn and Teller when he didn't. So I thought it would be only fair that I upload a video of a magician actually fooling Penn and Teller. So this is that video and uh, sorry for the misleading title, um, but it did have a question mark to be fair, question mark, but sorry about that anyways. And uh, tutorial will be next video. Stay tuned for that. Press the like button. 
hit the subscribe and bell button as well. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Thank you.